All right, guys. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, a new template I made uh, showcasing what the templating engine can do in niches, uh, as well as just another tutorial on using long form. So today I'm going to write two articles about traveling uh, to, to different cities. So the first city I'm going to do is uh, Los Angeles. So we'll call this one traveling to Los Angeles. Uh, a brief article about planning a trip to Los Angeles. All right. So we're in here. I'm going to pick a template. I've already made the template. So it's the blog post template, the travel blog post. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. Uh, so once you paste an article, again, it'll, because it has variables, this button will appear. Uh, and the only variables you need to fill out are city, attraction one and attraction two. Um, but let's, let's take a look at what's happening. So there's, there's a headline, the history of the city or sort of like the intro to the city, intro to the city. And we can come up with a headline later. Uh, this right here is gonna use a tool that's dedicated to talking about travel locations. So you'll get some fun facts about the city. Uh, then this one is just uh, just a paragraph maker. It uses the magic paragraph tool behind the scenes. Write about how city is fun and has a lot to offer. Uh, then it's going to talk about the tourist attractions in the city uh, using the, the travel attraction uh, engine, I guess you can call it, or the model. Uh, and it's going to talk about attraction one, which we're going to pick, we're going to put here. And it's going to talk about attraction two, which we'll put here. Um, so this is another paragraph dedicated to how to get around. Uh, discuss the transportation options in city using magic paragraphs. Uh, restaurants in city talk about how the city has a lot of great places to eat. Uh, here's a list of some of the best places to eat in the city. And then this tool, which I just added today, will, will create a list of the best places to eat. It doesn't always hit. Uh, it's like hit or miss, but we'll see if it do we get it on the first try. So I'm going to put Los Angeles as a city and attraction one is going to be the Hollywood Walk of Fame and attraction two is going to be uh, let's see let's call it uh, Hollywood sign and let's press apply uh, and I might want to add another attraction let's let's go and put uh, Disneyland even though it's in Anaheim, but uh, yeah, so we yeah, add Disneyland there. Uh, and let's go ahead and write it. Um, all right, so it's writing on step six, seven, eight. All right. Uh, so this is our like first draft of the article. Uh, it's not bad. Let's see. Los Angeles is famously home to, but there's more to LA than just that. The beach is cool. Uh, it talks about us. Uh, let's see. Write about how Los Angeles is fun. Has a lot to offer. Okay. Cool. So yeah, this is actually pretty good. Um, what I would do to like make this article better is just kind of like sprinkle in my own sprinkle my own touch. You know into the article, but I think as far as like a rough draft goes, this is definitely really good. And the list kind of came up with some things that look like restaurants. I'd probably do some research to see if they are actually restaurants. But, you know, that's that's the fun that comes with writing is actually doing research and not letting AI do everything. Um, but that is the first pass for Los Angeles. Uh, uh, you could probably spend time editing it, but for the sake of keeping this video short, uh, that's it for Los Angeles. Um, now, let's go ahead and make a new one called Traveling to London, just to show you how quick it is. Um, let's see, so in this article, we talk about what to expect when traveling to London. Let's go ahead and say that. All right, so again, templates. Uh, let's copy the travel template. Um, 
and I don't have to go over these items again. I can just fill in the variables. So, oh, the city is London, uh, and the traction one is Buckingham Palace, and attraction two. I'm trying to think of what uh, Tower Bridge. Let's go ahead and say Tower Bridge. I don't know if it's gonna know what Tower Bridge is, but let's see. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so we've replaced all the, t the variables. Now let's go ahead and auto write. So yeah, again, this is uh, a rough draft, but a uh, nice little intro into London. Uh, this talks about being impressed with the city's numerous attractions. Um, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, that's just a quick rundown of templates and a new template I added uh, with some of the new, um, sorry, with some of the new commands. So you've got travel attraction and, and travel location, which are tools that exist in niches now. So all, all these commands are, are just uh, kind of like plugins to use the existing tool that's in short form. Uh, so yeah, let's see, let me show you commands real quick. I like to keep these videos short. Um, but yeah, here's a list of 10 commands that we have so far. Um, eventually, what I'd want is for every single tool in short form to be, uh, not every, but the majority of tools to be available in long form when you're using templating. Uh, that way it makes it easy to, to get a first draft uh, of a piece of, of content that you're working on. So. Yeah, so if you click on one of the commands, it shows, it gives you an example. It tells you how to get started. Um, and you can see on the left-hand side, there's a list of all the commands that are available. And that list is just going to grow as time goes on, uh, as, as well as the templates. Those, the templates and the commands are both going to grow. But yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, I really want to see people creating templates because I think that uh, uh, there's a lot of, of, of power in these templates. You can you know, iterate quickly. Well, once you create a template for the kind of content that you need to create on your site or for your clients. So yeah, let me know what you think. All right. See you later, guys.